Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I don't even know how to start this, but... I went on a date. I went on a date, um... a few days ago, and it was a good, it was a good date. It was, um... with a woman I've been trying to see for a while, and we would see each other here and there when we were out, and, and then finally one day, um, she said yes. She said yes. It was like last week, she said yes, and I, I went out on a date with her, and it was really cool. We went out. We had Mexican food, and at the end of the evening, I guess uh, the tequila worked in my favor. Um, not not that not that like I needed the tequila, but yeah, she, you know. And she was like, "Hey, do you, do you want to come over?" And and I said yes. I said yes. I want to come over, and and so we we hopped in a taxi together, and we went back to her place. I was really really excited. It was it was gonna happen, and you know you know that feel. Well, I mean you don't you don't know that feeling, but like it's like wow. I was excited, uh, and I I think maybe I was too excited. It was like excitement and nerves at the same time, too much, and so I I noticed my stomach was a little a little bit bloated. I think it was like a bit of the Mexican food, a bit of the nerves, and so I I I, I went to the bathroom because I'm I'm a gentleman. And when I got there, I tried to fart, and then I realized it wasn't a fart. I needed to shit, father. I needed to shit, and I didn't plan to shit. And I tried to pace it as well. I didn't, you know, didn't want to be there too long because then she'd know what I was doing. I didn't want to be there, like I didn't want to, like, just, you know, force it out. And uh, I shat, and it went well. And as I was walking out of the bathroom, father, I looked over at the toilet bowl, and I noticed that there was there was one log that didn't go down. It was so solid that I it looked like a like a little branch of a tree had fallen into. The toilet. I didn't think that came out of me. I was. I was like, "Geez, who? I didn't see that. Someone had a branch, and you know." And and so I, I, I flushed the toilet again, and it didn't. It didn't go down. It just like it sort of just like swayed around in the water, you know, just like really defiantly, you know, you know, like a, like a really tall person caught in a windstorm. It's just like, oh, and 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 it didn't. It didn't flush. I, I googled um, how to flush stubborn poo, um, which actually it was a common thing. Like I didn't even the Google auto. I was like how to flush stu and stubborn poo. Filled. So it wasn't like it was like I wasn't the only one. And and uh, the number one result said um, pour hot water on the poo to help it melt. But it's not chocolate. It's shit. That's what it is, father. It's shit. And it didn't melt. All that happened now was I had created. A, uh, a sauna of shit. That's what I had done. There was no smell before, and now there was a smell because of the steam, and it it just stayed there. And I tried to flush again, and it just it just like spun around, and this this shit was way more resilient than I thought it would be. It was like really, really resilient. I I was proud. I know it sounds weird to say that, but I was I was proud. I was like, that's mine. Like that's that's my sh like I. I think that's how parents feel. I don't have kids, but I'm pretty certain that's exactly how parents feel. They go like, that's. That's my shit, you know? I don't know why I thought of this, but I I figured that I needed to squelch the shit. I needed to squash it and get it down. So I took the bag out of the trash can and I put my hand in the bag and I, I just squelched it. And in my head, I was just like, just, just imagine you're on like like Fear Factor and you're gonna win a lot of money for this. And I just, just, squelched, just squelched it hard. I just squelched it as hard as I could, you know? And a piece of me in, enjoyed it a little bit, I will admit. And when I was done squelching, I flushed the toilet, um, but the mistake I made was I, I took the bag off in the toilet, and so now the bag blocked the toilet, and so the water came up, and now there was shit and and bag, and I I didn't know what to do, so I, I like I, I went back in and I grabbed the bag, and now I had like shit on my arm, but I was like whatever, just get this done, you know, because now she's like where is this guy, what is he doing? So I I, I like I just grabbed the bag and I moved the bag over to the basin. I was like, I'm gonna wash the bag, clean the bag, put it back in the trash can. And then I try to do that. But then like now the water wouldn't go down. I, like, I think it's her drains, father. I, like she really needs to get her drains checked. But anyway, now now there was like shit on the sink and there was shit on my arm. And I, I was trying to think of what to say because what do I do? I, I can't tell her now. Cause I mean, if I had a log and I told her, it would just be like, hey, I, you know, I 
couldn't flush this thing. Now it would just be like, hey, I, I had like a like a shit party in your in your in your. I couldn't explain it. I looked at what I had done, um, and I realized that I I had to do what um, I had to do, and so I I climbed out of the window, and I I left everything as it was. Never. Sp- never spoken to her again. And then I told my friends that um, she got drunk and shat everywhere and I had to clean it up. And uh, people were like, why would she do that? And I was like, she's German. People were like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I heard they do that kind of stuff. But that was a lie, she wasn't German, she was French. And uh, now people call her Shitzera. Uh, And by people, I mean me. I started calling her that in the streets. <sighs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'll go use your bathroom real quick. Thank you. I have been judging a talent show for the last eight years without glasses. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything.